Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a little bit of a special build. As you can see, um, this is a wedding destination build for the Sparked Challenge. And I know that they gave us um, five different ideas for um, themes for the destination wedding. So those were beach, jungle, rustic, spooky, and desert. And this was the first one that I did. I'm going to try to do all of them, like one for each. We'll see how that goes <laughs> because I'm going on vacation next week. So I don't want to do any then. So I'm really trying to get everything done this week. So that might be too much to handle, but I guess we'll figure it out and see if that is actually possible. <laughs> but um, so this is the desert one, the first one that I did. Um, so far, I've only done two and I'm going to try to finish all of them in one week. So we'll see how that goes. But <laughs> Let's, I'm just thinking of doing one at a time, you know, not trying to rush myself, but I'm trying to get one done each day. And any other builder would definitely know that doing a whole build in one day is crazy. Like it takes me hours, but luckily because of the quarantine, I have that time. So um, what I did for the main theme of this build is I took this beautiful arch from uh, Realm of Magic and I sized it up and then I raised it. And I did that several times just for a common theme in the build and just to make it sort of interesting and more fancy because I didn't want to make like a desert build that was kind of like boring and like nothing's going on you know I wanted to make it like there's still plants and like honestly it's kind of like a, a jungle build would be because I used a lot of um jungle adventure objects surprisingly <laughs> so that's kind of funny but I think if I were to do jungle one obviously I wouldn't be using these um rocks and all that and I definitely wouldn't place a um place the lot choose for it to be in um oasis springs that's the name of the world right i can never remember but um i think that oasis springs is super like desert themed so uh that's why i went with that but um other than that i just i knew i wanted the rocks and i definitely wanted some sort of like um main kind of theme throughout the whole build to make it kind of consistent. I love consistency. So I did go with that sort of like beautiful arch theme and I put that throughout the whole build. At first I wanted to um, only have this beach just sort of levels outside, but then I did end up making a building and you'll see me in a little bit. I start to like check what it, the image looks like from the um, library view, kind of like when you're saving it or when you're about to upload it to the gallery, kind of like what it looks like in that picture. And like I always end up in my builds, I always end up looking and seeing what that is going to look like because I know I probably shouldn't do this, but I think like the curb appeal um, really means a lot to me. And I think especially for the sparked challenge, you want to make it look good from that picture because that's what other people are going to be judging off of. So I definitely was checking that a lot just to make sure it's, it looked like I wanted it to look like. And instead of it being like the super open area from that picture, at least, it just looks kind of like a closed building. So I didn't end up liking that as much because of it, but I still was really happy with the result because um, past beyond that building, it, it's just a little small building beyond that. It's a super open space and I really like it. And here I'm adding the chairs and I went for kind of this red theme. That's why I have the red arch here and the red um, chairs. And I start to add like plants that have red in them as well. So I just sort of go, uh, go with that for the whole thing kind of. And, um, one thing that I really wanted to um, make in this build was to make sure that I was colorful. So I really wanted, I really tried to uh, kind of incorporate a lot of color in that. And with that, a lot of different decorations, because just because it's in the desert doesn't mean it's got to be bland. I think a lot of people aren't doing this desert theme because it kind of just sounds unappealing, but I really wanted to go for something like that. And I hope it was deserty enough. As you can see, I kind of put cact, I put a lot of cacti around like wanted to fill it up with cactuses because I wanted to um, make it um, like actually visible like it is a desert theme other than like the rocks and you know the sand um, because like yeah this is not a boring build like this is it's not like just in the middle of the desert it's like here's an actual venue because I didn't want to make it pretty and I wanted to make you know it kind of pop with that um, sort of um, curb appeal like I was talking about before and one thing that like after doing this starting this challenge I realized um, a big difference between the sims 3 and the sims 4 is that in the sims 3 I swear there were like so many arches like wedding arches I'm pretty sure there was like a new one with each pack so you had like way too many choices and in the sims 4 like I've never built a wedding venue before this so like correct me if I'm wrong but like 
I like I don't think that like this the Sims 4 has like nearly as many uh arches and I'm like not mad about it because uh, like what's the purpose of having so many but now I'm starting to realize like oh no now that I'm actually doing a um wedding build for the first time there's not that much to choose from but like I don't have any complaints because like what's the purpose of having so many but it would have been nice just to see a few more but also I don't have all the packs so I'm sure there are probably a few more that come with different packs maybe like the romantic garden pack and like like something else like that like sort of along that theme so I am probably am missing out on a little bit but um here I am trying to figure out the dance floor area I wanted to make it symmetrical but then I was like no but I sort of have this theme of like two different floorings. I have the marble flooring that came with Get Famous and I have the beautiful tile that came with Jungle Adventure. So I sort of um, kind of use both of them. And in that way, um, I sort of have like this interesting theme going on. You know, it's not not just super boring. It's, you know, something's actually happening here. Um, so what I'm building here is I'm actually doing the um, bar area up here. So I have... Um, like you can see, I have the main um, ceremony area off in the left corner, and then I have the bar that's going to go right up here, and then I end up creating a, a big building on the right and in the front, and those are just um, different kind of areas. One of them just has a suite if you want to like spend the night there, and um, one of them has um, sort of like a cafe and like a kitchen, and there's also like a lot of room for bathrooms and stuff like that. And then there's like also just a kind of a game room with a table tennis um, kind of set. So um, I did want to kind of make it so that there were other things that you could, um, you know, you could do and like things, other activities that you could um, kind of have your Sims do. Because like I know I don't actually like know any of the wedding lots because um I know there's like one in I think San Maestino and one in like Willow Creek maybe and I don't even I never ever visit them because I don't play like with my sims like I don't do gameplay I only do builds um so I don't really know like anything <laughs> I don't remember what those lots are I think I maybe have been to them a few times <clears throat> when I was starting the sims 4 and I was doing some of the gameplay but I believe that you know it's just a main sort of building with like I know there's there are couches and there's a kitchen especially because I know that when you get to the lot you need a cake and I am remembering like not being able to get one before unless you like put it in your inventory but like that's so extra because it gets bad after like two seconds of being in your inventory because it gets spoiled but um I remember always having to like bake the cake in the um like venue every time I did that because you needed a wedding cake to have a wedding which was just it's and same with like the birthday cake didn't you need a you need a birthday cake to like blow out the candles which is like kind of interesting but <laughs> um there's some things I don't exactly understand with this game but here I am building the front part and I'm gonna try to like move it to the left but then I realized from like the main front view I'm like oh darn it does not look good on the left especially just from like the the front view that you get from um the you know like the safe mode just the picture that you normally get but I wanted this arch to be tall enough as well and to fit well in this um the height of these uh walls here I had to um raise it up a little bit but no fear because I used my um pristine pedestal of course my favorite thing <laughs> I love using this thank you Kate Emerald for showing me all the ways that this is the most amazing object ever this and these floor pieces that I'm putting right now to separate the different types of flooring from spot a that love that so much um and then throughout this build I do kind of struggle with um getting the trim to work when I get rid of the walls and the flooring here like just how I put those stairs there once I get rid of those and once I get rid of the flooring around the stairs it starts to uh just kind of like glitch out and it happens I think it happens more in the um right side in the right building that I end up doing and like you'll see me like I'll struggle with it quite a quite a bit I'm gonna try to cut some of that out so you don't have to be bothered with all of that but <laughs> um it ends up being like way too much effort and like so glitchy so what I end up doing is I use curtains to cover it oh and here I am checking I'm like gotta make sure it looks good you know it's going on sparked and then I move it and then I'm like nope never mind <laughs> it looks fine just in the middle and I know it's 
sort of looks weird now, but I just have to keep reminding myself that, you know, once you start adding more things to it, it'll start looking better. I think that it's hard to judge what a build is going to look like from that, like, very specific view just by looking at like what you're starting with because it ends up looking a lot different like throughout what you do adding details definitely helps adding landscaping helps a ton so I was trying to build you know to make it interesting but also to make sort of that like front view look nice and I think I end up making it look pretty good so I'm proud of that and I kind of just started with one thing and then I added more and then I added more and then it eventually became what I wanted it to be and I never really like plan out exactly what I want um, my builds to be like. Sometimes I'll look up pictures on Pinterest for inspiration. But with this one especially, I was like, I'm just going to start, going to have it be outdoors only. And then I was like, never mind, it's going to be inside. (laughs) So I ended up changing it like halfway and end up making it to be um, something that I did not intend, but I still am happy with it. Like I won't I won't upload a build that I'm not happy with, obviously. Like I try to make sure that everything I do is something that I can be proud of and that's like one thing that I really try to do every time I build. So even though it takes me forever, literally forever to build something because I'm so indecisive and I just can't think, I like can't figure out anything and I just go crazy every time I have to like make a decision that I can't figure out. Other than that, (laughs) I think it works out pretty well for me. So other than these um, Realm of Magic arches, I use these windows, these beautiful windows that have the lovely um, sort of pattern on them. So I really liked that. And Oh, I start adding the bathroom doors because I make two little bathrooms up here and then I make more bathrooms downstairs, ones with stalls so that more Sims can use them. I want to make sure there's a lot of bathrooms. I feel like on in wedding venues, like especially in the Sims, I just remember like you need to have a lot of bathroom space because there's a bunch of Sims that if they attend, they're going to need all you need to use the bathroom at once and it's going to be crazy. So um, I thought I wanted uh, another build to be here. I originally put in, I think like one of the um, debug bathrooms but I did not like that there so I wanted to have like actual bathrooms because ones that I built it because it can fit along the theme better um so instead over here I put um a little building over here with like a fountain in there and what I do what I end up doing is because there are rocks um covering like the whole back wall just unintentionally but I wanted to build it kind of into the rocks anyways so I kind of I wanted it to be like that but um to work with the rocks that were there um, what I ended up doing is I put in the, I believe they're get to work, um, sort of benches, um, just surrounding that whole rock wall area and it kind of fits in and it's some seating space for your Sims. I don't know if they can actually sit there. I they sh- probably should be able to just because it is debug. So they like, don't really recognize it. They don't run into it or anything like that. So it's probably fine. But right here I'm doing, um, I'm adding some grass I didn't want to do um terrain paint because that's honestly just a pain and also these debug uh grass items that I put in match perfectly with the one surrounding the lot so not only does it fit into the lot um that it's placed in with the surroundings but it's also just a perfect easy way to put grass in with um sort of like a fence around it so I put plants in those afterwards I use a lot of plants from um jungle adventure and um island living and base game too um and i think all these rocks that i'm using right now i think all the rocks i used were base game sometimes i'll like go along with a theme because all the rocks are similar like if i'm making a build i'll be like okay these all all these rocks are going to be from island living because they're all like a similar similar color like the dark color or like the super light rocks um but then there are other um packs like um get to work and like uh get together some of the uh rocks are kind of like this um, gray like a medium gray so you can't get all the rocks like that so you kind of have to use just the ones from those packs so here I am trying to figure out the way that uh, this is going to work see how the trim there in the middle of the arch gets deleted when I delete the floor that becomes an issue later but I end up fixing it with curtains kind of like um, what I did in the front with the arches I wanted to have I didn't want those to be able to sims to be able to enter through I'm not sure if they can actually enter through because again I don't do gameplay that much so I am not, I don't even know if they can um, enter through um, archways that are blocked by a curtain, but uh, just 
for the main uh, visual of it, I didn't want it to be accessible by Sims because that is going into part of the bathroom. So it ends up being like sinks. So I don't think they'll be able to enter it anyways because there are sinks up against the archway. So there's no way that the object wouldn't block them anyways. But just to be sure, just to cover it up, make it clear, this is not an entryway. I did put that there. And here I am just finishing up with the rocks. I didn't want to use any terrain tools in this game or in this build because I just thought it would be too much. Again, I wanted to make it, I usually either have builds that are only terrain builds or that are only like foundation piece raising it up and down and at different levels build. So this one decided to be the um, up, uh, levels up and down build, the um, rustic themed um, wedding venue that I just did uh, second. So the one after I just did this one, um, that one is definitely more of a terrain build. There's a lot of work with the terrain. And I use a lot of rocks as well. Rocks are my favorite thing. I think that landscaping just makes the biggest difference ever. So um, what I did with that is I ended up doing um, sort of like the um, get-together rocks. So I picked only the get-together ones, and they all kind of matched, and they all worked well together. So I just decided to go with that for the theme, and that's what I ended up using to decorate a lot of it. And I also used the waterfall, like one of my favorite things ever. So definitely check that out when I have it out. Um, I'm going to try to put all my uh, wedding destination builds um, in for the Spark Challenge on my YouTube. So check them out if you have the chance. And so here's where I start adding the curtains in like I was talking about before. Just that issue with um, raising, having to raise up this um, piece here um, because I didn't want to do the same exact thing with the pristine pedestal. I want it to be a little different. So I ended up... Um, adding the curtains above there. And I think that add, it it's nice because it adds a little bit of color too. I end up changing it to the red ones. And I do that on the other side of this build as well with the two big arches um, over on the back side. So I like adding those and they definitely brought some color in and they added some detail. And I really think anything that can add some cute little detail is perfect to add to a build. Anything that makes it a little bit more intricate and a little more realistic, I think is perfect. Um, and up here on that side with the um trim deciding like it like didn't end up working on the right side for the top there you'll see it look it disappears and I like tried to get it back and sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't so I just decided not to push it and just leave it as it is it's fine not everything can be perfect but it was a little frustrating at first so <laughs> that was unfortunate but I figured it out eventually just how to make it look okay and just kind of let it go so um now I'm basically just working on this whole other side. I kind of, like I said, I just kind of imp improvised the whole thing. I was like, let's see what I can come up with, basically. So um, I kind of just go around now. I'm kind of like picking random places to go. I'm looking around at everything, making sure there are all the windows there that I want and all the arches. I do end up adding some more of the um, magic arches, like the ones that I have um, on the front. And... Um, I end up adding them to the side and um, even on the second level with no balcony. So I'm like, okay, I have to fix this because, you know, it's, there's like no balcony leading to it. So it's kind of, um, don't want Sims to like, you know, kind of fall. So, I mean, they won't actually fall at, like, because, you know, they don't do that. But <laughs> if this was realistic, then they would. So um, what I did is I put in, I know I couldn't put in actual fencing because there's already a wall there. So what I did is I put in a little fence object that came from Get Together. And you'll see in a little bit. It's super cute. I really like it. And um, I end up putting the curtain against it as well. Just saying like, okay, Sims, don't exit off of there. So that's what I do for the the bottom level here, you'll see. And um, the top level, I just add the little um, railing. And I think I add that for the bottom level as well. So I thought that was kind of perfect. And now that I think about it, I definitely should have added it to the ones in the front, but it's too late for that. So I did add the railing as a common theme, and I did put it in the front of the entire build, like in the front of the lot. But now that I think about it, I really should have put it just to make it very clear in front of those curtains in the front. But you know what? It's too late now. Uh, oh, well. So um, now I'm doing the um, tables, of course. A wedding has to have lots of tables, lots of seating for all the guests who uh, want to celebrate the party. So I try to p place these tables evenly around. Um, there's a lot of seating for sure. Like after I do this, I also go down to the building on the side and I add furniture. I add a little cute little fountain. So I think that ends up being pretty nice. Um, 
I guess that's in a little bit. Um, but now I'm doing all the um, plants. I didn't make them the same exact plants that were in the the like surrounding area, like the one right the plant right next to it. It just kind of looks kind of you know boring to me. Like it's not filled up that much. And I know I love filling up like my planter pots. So um, I put a lot of cacti just to make it more desert themed. Like obviously that, that's what it is. And then I put a lot of the spiky plants and palm trees. And even though this is in a base game world, so they are only the base game palm trees um, decorating. Um, I did put in the island living trees just because I love the variety. It's not all the same tree over and over again. I like the leaning ones because that changes it up a little bit. And I do like the just the look of them. They I like the size that they're bigger. And I like how it comes with the option of having the smaller one because that one's super nice if you just want to put it off to the side and you don't want to stick up super high. So here I am doing this area over here with... Um, the fountain and the bunches that I was talking about. So here I am about to put all the benches in and around and I thought that was kind of a, a nice transition from like the giant rocks that are against the wall to the actual area. So <laughs> I tried to make that super nice and um, I put in these um, little um, uh, jungle adventure, I think, the jungle adventure um, uh, wall decoration pieces here and I put in the, these kind of like r rocky ish lights I guess I think they're supposed to um sort they're supposed to be um like kind of like a geode ish looking um light so I went with that because I was like okay that kind of goes along with the theme and I end up using it in other places too like I use it in this side of the building as well and um the now I'm trying to figure out the fountain but I do end up um putting the furniture in around here and this is the side that I'm talking about where I put in the kitchen and I end up putting in like a little cafe area um, with more seating. So it's like your Sims will never be, they will never be at a loss for seating. Like, you know, they will be fine <laughs> with their seating. Um, uh, yeah, I know that you can't even invite that many Sims to a wedding that you can probably fit here. But again, I wanted to make it sort of like what it would be like in real life. If you're going to have a big party, you know, you want to have a lot of seating. Um, I showed this um, to my parents <laughs> because I was like proud of it. And <laughs> they were like, um, that's not a lot of seating for a wedding. And I was like, yes, but this is The Sims. So it is more seating than you would ever need in The Sims. I know in real life it would not work out well, but that's okay because, you know, you've got to make it somewhat realistic for real life. But then also you have to consider what is realistic in The Sims. And you don't want to go too crazy with things if it doesn't really make sense for The Sims. I know sometimes there are builds that you want to do that you're like, okay, this is definitely a real life build. Like it's not functional, but this is what it's going to look like. And then there are other builds where you're like, okay, this is strictly for the purpose of Sims. So I kind of wanted to do a trade off of those. So have my own style, kind of like a, um, this is what it would be like for a wedding. Like this is what I would want my destination wedding to be like. But then there was also that um, theme of like, okay, well, we have to be realistic here it's the sims there's only so much you can do and have it still be functional so you kind of have to find that middle ground there um and what i'm doing down here is i realized that the, there's an archway leading up to the back and you see i start to put into rain paint and i was like never mind <laughs> not dealing with that so then i just put in some more of the planter the debug planters and i use these cute little like bamboo um shoot uh plant things um to fill in the edges of it because you don't want your sims to be like looking through that and being like what's under this like as they're looking under the dance floor so I just kind of made it clear like oh that area is just for viewing you're not supposed to go under there and obviously your sims wouldn't even be able to fit because the floor is like lower than their heads from the dance floor to the ground but just wanted to make that very clear <laughs> so no one got confused I know sims they aren't always the brightest um but only you can control them anyways, so I guess it's not a big thing to be worrying about. Uh, I just try to take everything into consideration. And for the bathrooms here, I split up the area between the um, stalls and the sinks. Um, I just did that for the sake of space. And um, I wanted to make it so that, you know, um, the restrooms, there were, like, enough, obviously, because for Sims. Um, and like I said, they always end up needing to go to the bathroom every five seconds, so... <laughs> Just wanted to deal with that problem before we got to it. So um, here I am creating the game space over here. And I didn't want the 
um, fireplaces to be sticking out too much. Um, so what I ended up doing is moving them into the wall. And the good thing about this is that you can't see it from the other side. So it's under the thing. You can't, there's no way to view it at all. So I just thought that was kind of perfect because it's like, well, it doesn't really matter um, what it looks like from the other side because you can't see it. So I really liked um, that I ended up doing that. Um, and here I am using the some objects from the dine out pack to make the little kitchen area there. And um, I end up using multiple, I guess, because I use this one over here. I use two sets of like the grilling station kind of things. Um, and then over here I start, uh, I think I first put down like the cafeteria thing from um, Discover University, but then I end up um, putting in the um, like espresso maker from uh, Get Together. And I like that a lot better. And I thought it just kind of fit. And um, I wanted to create a super like cute little area over here. And I wanted this just to be kind of like the cafe area, you know, you know, um, you don't, you might not always have catering depending on like what, what wedding it is. Maybe it's a small wedding. You go and eat at the cafe or something like that. Wanted to give plenty of options for users to pretty much do whatever they wanted with this lot. So, um, I definitely gave a lot of different like options and opportunities for Sims to kind of, or for people to kind of use it whatever way they want their Sims to. And up here I'm creating the suite. Um, I know sometimes, you know, got to be on the lot for a while to get everything to go smoothly so you might want to sleep in between <laughs> so I ended up putting like a little bathroom with an ensuite or a little bedroom with an ensuite in here and I ended up I thought I made it look super cute um it's like super tiny but for reasons of symmetry I put doors in through both sides and I really hope that this isn't a problem for sims because I don't I don't want the objects to be blocking the door but I thought what I ended up doing with that little side table from um, Spa Day, I believe, it's super cute. And, like, I love, love, love that window that, or that window, that mirror, I mean, that comes with um, Jungle Adventure that, like, looks like it leans against the wall. It's so beautiful. So I use that every opportunity I get. I think I also used it in the rustic wedding destination build that I just did. <laughs> I probably wound up using it in all the other ones as well <laughs> because that's just me. Um, <laughs> and here I am just creating some wall decorations with the lights. I'm like, it's dark anyways, so might as well, you know, make them look kind of nice and cute. And I'm finishing up the sort of kitchen area over here and just the cafe. Wanted to make it, you know, seem like it was going to be used. So there's like specific objects that Sims would use and, you know, like storage areas for food and stuff like that. And then I just wanted to make sure it was super bright at night. I hate when builds, I end up forgetting to put like lights on builds because, you know, I don't play with them, but they always end up, if you are playing with them, it always ends up being night at some point when you're using it. So you want to make sure that there's enough light so that, you know, your Sims can move around and you can see what you're doing. It's super annoying to be in the dark. I don't know if they do this in The Sims 4, but in The Sims 3, there was definitely that mood lit that was like, it's too dark. And then your Sims get like super in a super bad mood because there's no light, which I'm like, okay, well, I mean, it makes sense, but like, come on, it's The Sims. Do they really need to complain about like lights? Like there are more thing, more problems that they have, like bigger things, like, you know, being controlled and not choosing what else they get to do with, with their life because they're being controlled by a video game player. But other than that, I'm just not going to get into that. <laughs> but over here, I'm doing some more living areas. I know I only have that one over there around the fountain and that was sort of like picnic. I mean, not picnic, like, um benches like wooden benches so like that's not gonna be comfortable to sit in so that's why I sort of um went with these get together um sets of uh chairs and couches and it adds to the red color which I love and I placed in some of those little benches there and those are from uh Rumla Magic 2 I think and they're super cute I like them they are just a little something and another thing another place for your sims to sit but they don't take up a lot of space at all so I liked that um, and here I am just adding some last minute details. Um, I want to make it as cute as I could possibly make it. And I start adding some little, uh, plants in the little pots. These are from, these are, uh, from base game, but they're in the debug menu. And I just wanted to see what else I could find just to, you know, add last minute details, add some more, uh, benches and all that. And I'm almost done in a little bit. I'll be going to screenshots, but, um, I do plan to have more of these coming out. Let me know if you like them, if you have any sort of ideas for me to do, because um, when this video comes out, I will not have finished um, all of my uh, 
wedding builds, I believe. So if you do have any ideas for me to do for the other themes, let me know because I love kind of incorporating new into every something new into every build that I do. So I definitely want to have something kind of different in each uh, wedding destination that I do and just to, you know, cover everything that I want to cover. So um, let me know what you guys think. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye.